Hey guys, what's up? Hi, welcome to the P2B show. Like I said, I'm eating noodles. Like you said? When did you say that? I said it in the chat. Mm. You, oh, you replied to the actual chat. Can you do that? Well, yeah, but now that we're live. I've never, I don't, uh, I haven't really explored ch uh, Twitch that much. <laughs> this is my Whoa. second time. Don't cross the streams. Hard to do, hard to do. What does that mean? Anyways, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, our second Gong Show last minute stream that we decided to do. Also, if you're, I, I don't think Gong Show is a ty uh, term in America, so if you're confused by what I mean by Gong Show. No, I think Gong Show is a term in America. I don't know. I think it's, I, I think it's it originated. a universal, universal term. I think it originated in Canada. <coughs> if I'm wrong about that, I'm very sorry, but I thought it was a Canadian show where they had people come on their show and do like a talent or an act or something, and if it was ridiculous and they didn't like it, they hit a gong and that sent them off that the That was stage. Canadian? I thought that was worldwide. I'm looking it up now. Anyways, explain what we're doing here. So anyways, we decided to celebrate our... Mm, oh no. The gong show. We, uh, we decided to celebrate 500,000 subscribers with another live stream. Uh, although Keys thought it was in terms for a wrap up of CES. <coughs> it, we're, it's kind of both. We're talking about yeah, CES it's kind of and it's like a celebratory stream because we just hit 500,000 subscribers, which is crazy. A half a million of yeah. you guys are subscribed to our channel. Probably obviously, l less than half of that are people who actually watch our stuff, but. Right. I mean, obviously, we've only been doing this for about a year and a bit, a year and a half now. Yeah, a year and a half. year and a half? Mm-hmm. But, and it was all Linus before then. Yeah. I mean, do you know the numbers that we started at when we came on? I think when we came on, it was about 330 or something. Mm, 330,000. So, so in reality, we only really are celebrating 200,000. Mm -hmm. So thank you, guys. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah, it's crazy. Thank you so much for watching our stuff. We are ridiculous. Um, but yeah. Linus is still at CES. I think they had the WAN show. I started st uh, started uh, watching some of their WAN show yesterday. They had MKBHD, Austin, Austin Evans, Evans, Lou from Unbox Therapy. Uh, what's his name from TLD? Techfest Lunch and Dinner guy, yeah. and another guy. Some, there was someone else there. I forget who it was. But anyways, um, what we are going to do today is talk about, because CES was so crazy, uh, through the entire week. We're going to talk about some of our favorite stuff that happened during the week. I think Engadget was the official, um, they award the official awards. Um, so they, they did that. And I think the, the winner was Sling TV. We, I mentioned that on Netlink yesterday. Yep. It's basically, it's, it's live. You can get cable TV through the internet for 20 bucks a month or something. Which is the first time I think something like that has Did actually you happened. Raise the sound? Kind of. Anthony's messing with the sound, guys. We're sorry. Is it Apparently, spiking? it now. Someone, it someone's deafening people now. Someone said you blew out their eardrums. Also, we are wearing pants. Are you? We are uh, wearing pants. That's right. Wa watching dragons was asking if we were wearing pants. I should probably bring up the Twitch chat, eh, so I can see what people are saying. Yeah. I can't. I can't say a bloody thing. You didn't eat breakfast. Keys is always stoned. You guys just don't know his secret yet. Turn you don't down know the my volume. Secret? No, that's his, your that's your secret. That you're always stoned. I don't seem. Do I seem stoned on Netlinked? Please turn down the. <laughs> I'm not stoned right now. We're both sick though. So. Mm -hmm. So if, if shout I, rainbow dongers. Rainbow dongers. You didn't shout it. <clears throat> Rainbow Donga! That's not shouting either. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna deafen them. Rainbow Dong That was way too loud. Sorry. Way too loud. Sorry. Jeez. See we already did it. GTX nine eighty greater than R9 three seventy. Hell yes. Team Green all the way. Three seventy? Why would you say three seventy? Like, the GTX 980 is going to be better than the R9 370, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The 980 is nuts. Mm -hmm. This is a, we have the, we have a laptop, actually, the, the one we're, that we're streaming on right now is the one that you wrote the script for, for the review, the Asus, uh, do you know, remember what it's called? 
The G751JY. G751JY. That has one 980M in it, and we both, we all played games on it, and it's like... <coughs> insane. It's really good. One 980. Speaking of 980s in a laptop, that brings us to the first thing I wanted to talk Yay. about from CES, which we actually didn't report on this on Netling Daily the entire week. Um, it's the it's MSI's uh, GT80 Titan. They actually like revealed it. That was like one of the first things in the week. The one with the uh, mechanical keyboard. Yep. I really want to get my hands on it's that. It's got Cherry MX Brown switches, um, and it's running two 980s, 980M <laughs> in SLI. Um, oh, and that's what I was trying to say about the Asus too. It's got a 980M instead of regular 980, and it still like blows my mind. What really blew my mind was the uh, Origin PC laptop with the desktop chip in it. They put a 4790K oh, yeah. in, into an actual notebook. Not a mobile chip, right. but a desktop chip, which is... <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> sorry to hijack your topic though. Yeah, but the, the, the GT80, dual 980Ms. Um, so they released all the specs, got an 18.4 inch 1080p screen. Uh, each of those 980Ms have six gigs of RAM, so the guy who was reporting on it said it has 12 gigs of RAM, but that's more like it's actually six gigs per GPU. So that's the effective amount you get. Um, and it has a touchpad, because the keyboard, I mean, actually, do we have the, the, let me pull up the. Why are people saying turn down the bit rate? I don't, under, I don't understand. Oh, Anthony, how do you, I don't know how to do that. I've never run the actual software. Oh, can't do that yet. How do we like Please show that? Please turn up the bit rate, son. Web page. Like Make it higher. Talk about something else. <coughs> we might have a special guest coming are in we today. Out of focus? Probably. Oh, okay. Well, now it doesn't matter because we're so down. Special guest? Yeah. I didn't know about that. Who's a special guest? Sure. Right on. <coughs> Why Google.com? Um, what are we talking about? I forget. I'm so confused. Can someone remind us what we were talking about? We, I was talking about the GT80 right. Titan. So the keyboard's down on, like, on the... <coughs> normally, uh, on a laptop, such as this one, the keyboard is... Up here. Up here. But it's down there on the GT80 yeah. Titan. And the... <coughs> and the touchpad the, is on the right instead of... Which also doubles as the number pad, which yeah. is pretty awesome. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. And I, I hear you can actually, like take a panel off the top of it and just switch stuff out. Yeah, instead of going way. in from the bottom, which yeah. I really like. Yeah. <clears throat> just so you know, gaming and you're oh, like... Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah, there you go, now you can see it. So that panel, uh, in between dragon. the keyboard and the screen, you can take that off and like replace stuff. Which is, I, I can't even... Replace the RAM, hard drive... Just playing a game, just playing, playing a game online, you're like, you know what, I could use some better graphics, they'll just rip that off. <laughs> Yeah, they were saying that yeah. um, throughout its lifetime, the GTA, you can, there's an upgrade program you can do with MSI Ooh. to um, keep the components up to date. Oh, right on. For, for a lifetime, so you're not always buying the latest iteration of whatnot. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Kind of taking the PC, the advantage of PC over like a, you know, Mac, I don't know, Mac, <laughs> just to pick a random competitor. The only competitor, really. Well, yeah, in terms of... Well, Linux is cool, too. Right. But some other details about the GTA. Just, just, is Keys pregnant? <laughs> why do you, why would you... <laughs> why would you start... Do I look fat? I guess the shirt is kind of like... Blah! Like that. Kind of makes it look like that. I don't know why they're asking if I'm pregnant. We see you had a special guest. Do we have a special guest? Jack said there's a special guest. Yeah, the special guest is getting a haircut and he might pop by later on. Okay. So. Does his name rhyme with Pedzel? No. no. Does it rhyme with Puglia? No. No. <laughs> it rhymes with piss. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a funny joke for all you people watching who know what we're talking about. Oh yeah, okay, no, and then just some other things I have to get out before we are finished talking about the Titan. Was it really that funny? <laughs> I found it hilarious. It's got an i7 49, 4980K, uh, no, sorry, 4980HQ and 24 gigs of RAM in the friggin' laptop, <clears throat> and four uh, 120 uh, gig SSDs in Super Raid. Super. Super Raid. <laughs> Bro. <coughs> 
So crazy. <clears throat> um, yeah. So that's really exciting. I can't wait to get our hands on that. I was kind of, uh, I was kind of jealous when like, I, was, I think Kit Guru had a preview of it. Mm, mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Where's ours? We, uh, MSI has been really nice to us. Extremely nice. Extremely nice. If anyone from MSI is watching, you guys are awesome. They'll like send us stuff to review. It's really great. Um, and also, what MSI also had the GS30 uh, Shadow. This I don't know about. It's the, what? No, we reported on this. It's the it's the laptop that docks into the. Um, oh yeah 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 the uh, external GPU. Yeah, so you can use a desktop graphics card uh, in the dock for the GS30 Shadow laptop. Um, so that's pretty great. Uh, but it's you have to uh, shut it down before you put it in the dock, which is kind of lame. And the well, actual... it's, not, it's not plug and play. It's not like no hot swap, right? Yeah, but that's kind of annoying. It's like I don't. I guess the idea is you you take the laptop, which is basically an ultra book by itself. It only uses integrated graphics, so it's not like a gaming laptop. And then you put it into a dock, and then you can run an even beefier graphics card. It's like it has integrated graphics um, from the Intel processor. And Side note: I just finished my noodles. That's awesome. Big news, everyone! Mm -hmm. I'm a big boy now. <clears throat> yeah. So that was cool. But enough about MSI, that was big stuff. What was your, I mean, you were, have been keeping up with the news. What was your like favorite thing? I honestly liked um, not Razer's Forge TV, but the controller they're, they're coming out with, the Serval. Oh, yeah. Uh, just because uh, I have the Razer Sabertooth controller for my PC controller gaming, and I really like the layout of that. It looks exactly like that, except it's wireless, Yeah. and it's, it connects through, uh, I think, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Mm. So I'm, I'm super excited to see what kind of, uh, <coughs> what kind of uh, build quality it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, because it has that little clip too, right? Yeah, so you can put your phone on for yeah. Android gaming. It works um, with the Forge TV, and then you can also use it with, like, other Android. Yeah, I'm hoping you can use it for PC as well. That'd be, that'd be dope. Yep. Although but, the input lag might, might be an issue because it is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So. Yeah. But, I mean, they, they, like, it's cool how they released all of that stuff, like, together. Like, they did the Rage of Forge TV, the Servo, and the turret, which is the... The lap board? Yeah, that folds out. And it looked really <coughs> ridiculous to me. Really? I yeah. really like the naming scheme, to be honest. Can we pull up the, the turret? The razor turret? It's in the, <coughs> the dock. Oh, here, I have links for everything. Yes, the Hold noodles on. were good. Let me send you the. Are you on Hangouts? Nope. I'm on nothing. Okay. Does Jack wear pull ups? Gonna, As in the diapers? I, I don't. I don't wear diapers. Okay. I wear pants. <clears throat> it's um. If you just yeah, if you just Google it, then fine. Okay. Anyways, the uh, Razer Forge TV. Um. Yeah. There it is. The Razer turret. Um. I honestly really like that uh, naming scheme. It's still on screen. What the turret? Yeah. I don't get it. What do you mean? Because it's because they've they've gone through every animal known to known to man for the other gaming peripherals. They've got the saber tooth, the serval, the death adder. Is a serval an animal? A serval is a cat. A type of <laughs> I didn't know that. Feline, isn't it? I thought it was just some random So I really like the fact that they, they strayed from that naming scheme and went with something mechanical, mm -hmm. like a turret, you know, yeah. like a gun turret that you use your hands with. Hence the keyboard yeah. mouse that you use your hands with. So. I gotta say though, when I first saw it, I just was like, uh, it looked really flimsy because it has a hinge in the middle. So I'm like, how are you gonna use this? And like, oh, it's gonna be like going all over the place. Like if you put too much pressure on one side, you like, the other side will go flying. But apparently it's very sturdy. I don't know, Linus did a video on it. And um, from other coverage I've seen, the mouse is actually magnetized to the pad. So you can like, it's not gonna go flying basically. It's like a light magneti magnetization. So the, they it stick keeps together. it on. Um, so I guess that'll help a little bit, but like, <clears throat> I don't know. It, it, doesn't it look, it just looks like a thin, you know? A thin you know? No, I mean like, what do you, like, what do you, it, <coughs> it's, cause, it's cause, thick enough. It really, 
<coughs> Rocket came out yeah. with, or well, they they haven't re actually released it, but they had like a big one. They, I think they showed it at um, one of the other ones recently. Computex, maybe um, PAX Prime in August or uh, end of August. Mm -hmm. um, and it was like a big one. It was like the size of like a laptop, and then it had a big giant mouse pad and the keyboard there with a palm rest, and that looked actually what. <laughs> That's the shirt showing off. People want, are talking about my shirt. It's, uh, it's a shirt from Busted Tees. It's uh, Bebop and Rocksteady from Ninja Turtles, but they're in the shape of Beavis and Butthead from MTV. Mm -hmm. So that's why they have the uh, TMNT logo there. And also, Ed Zoll, I know you're watching. Uh, the new Razer wearable, the Nabu X, or whatever they're calling it. Yeah, like the, uh, people are asking <coughs> what, what we think of the Nabu X. Uh, if it's if it has the build quality of the Nabu, I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, because you bought the Nabu. Yes, and then I sold it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> excuse me, I'm still sick. Hopefully, Razer isn't watching. I mean, I love your products. Or they are watching, I and mean, you should. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I didn't even look at the Nabu X at all. I didn't. I didn't look it up. It was really just a dumbed down <coughs> version of the Nabu. All it was was a band. Uh, do you a remember dumbed what? down version of the Nabu? Yeah. Because the Nabu already was like pretty bare bones. They're trying to sell it for like under 75 bucks or something like that. Oh. Do you remember the uh, Samsung Gear Fit we, we, uh, we got our hands on? The one with the rubber band and the module in the wristband would pop out? Mm hmm It's kind of like that. Like it pops out, the module pops out, I think. Oh, okay. But the only thing is, is that it's three LEDs on top. Yeah. <clears throat> to be honest, so there's not even a screen anymore. No, to be honest, the strap or the <coughs> actual band looks a lot better than what the Nabu was. But um, I mean, three LEDs to to let you know about stuff like. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'd rather just look at the LED on my. I phone, mean, they know? won the innovation or whatever it was award from. La they, didn't they win Best of CES? <clears throat> This year or last year? Last year. Last year, yeah, because they had Project Christine and the Nabu. Right. No, I mean, one of those. Yeah, I think the, the Nabu the won. The potential right. sensor. The Nabu won Best of CES last year. And this year, they're like, I don't know. Has it been a year already <coughs> since Christine? Yeah. yeah. Wow, time goes by. We were there. Well, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, rub it in some more. <laughs> I, I actually didn't get to see Christine uh, close up, but we saw the... Uh, the Nabu. We talked to Razer. Right side 95. Uh, don't spend your money on the 980 classified. Just get a regular 980. Or if you're really tight on money, just get the 970 Strix from Asus. Blows everything out mm. of the water for bang for buck. People are saying um, they're sick as well. Yeah, sickness has <laughs> just been like all over the place. <coughs> yeah. I don't know where the majority of you guys are from, where you're watching from, but like, yeah. Canada, Lower Mainland, Vancouver, oh, everybody's sick right now. It's kind of ridiculous. I almost felt like it was the zombie plague starting. I just hit my head on the back of that. Oh my god, it's default. Just ordered my Nabu, probably going to break. Listen, full disclosure, guys. I was really looking forward to the Nabu, the Razer Nabu. I picked it up, not from NCIX because we don't carry it. I picked it up from one of our <laughs> competitors. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I took it out of the box and it was the build quality you could tell was not what you expect with other Razer products. Hmm. Cause I've, I've gone through a few Razer products. They've lasted me a, a few years, but this one just out the gate was not so great. So. Oh, Razer. They're I just want, trying to do so many things. <laughs> I wanted it to be so much more. Yeah. And like, but uh, I was talking to Linus last week about, about uh, wearables and he, he made a good point about how the whole thing about the Razer Nabu was that if you like shook hands with someone or high five someone, if yeah. the Nabus were in contact with each other or like in proximity, you would exchange contact yeah, information. But when... I don't know. But he made a good point where it's like, you know, the Pebble watch he wears, like something like however many people bought it and he has yet to find another person wearing the same oh, yeah. watch. Exactly. So, I mean, that's the, thing about those, is, is, that's the thing about yeah. those features is like when you, 
you know, they're like, oh, look, you can exchange contact info, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, by the time that's any, like, that's gonna be useful in any way, it's gonna be like three or four generations down the road yeah. <coughs> by the time this thing has actually gained any popularity. I mean, like, you're banking on the fact that people are gonna buy your product and then everyone's gonna have your product. Like, everyone has an iPhone or something. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, shake hands and exchange contact information, like, it's true, because I had a Samsung Gear, the first generation one, and yeah. that's probably the most mainstream one. It's Samsung. Right. And but I'm still a single person exactly, with another one. <laughs> exactly. Like, don't, don't use that sort of thing as a selling point. In my opinion, I just write news shows. <clears throat> someone, someone in the chat asked, why not the MSI GTX 970? Look, we love MSI here. Uh, they've been great supporters of... The MSI GTX 970? Of, uh, yeah, GTX. Oh, you design. mean you told them what the Strix. graphics card to buy, right? What are you mouthing? It also has a zero <coughs> dB fan profile. The Strix? And, no, the MSI one. MSI, yeah. yeah. And it overclocks the <coughs> highest out of all the ones we've tested. Look, look, the I like races. owls. MSI. Oh, I like MSI owls. Is. Owls are cool. MSI but, sent us uh, uh, GTX 970s for us to use in our LAN center. Mm -hmm. So when we're doing like LAN center videos, we've only done two so far up there, but we're going to do more. And when we do that, um, I was looking at the monitor thinking I was looking at the camera, but the camera's up there. <laughs> I was like, see guys, it's very important that you... Um, yeah, so we have GTX 970s from MSI in the LAN Center PCs, so anytime we game on those, I mean, they're there, so... Oh, someone from Finland is watching. Hi, Finland. Hi, Finland. I, did I just watch an article about how your country is awesome? No, it was Iceland. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure Finland's great, though. <laughs> I just read an article about like why Iceland is the best place in, on the universe. Maybe Iceland and Finland have like a terrible rivalry and I just incited his anger <coughs> or her anger. Uh, also, someone asked about OSVR, open source. I was, we were going to talk about that, right. Which was funny enough a thing that was showcased alongside the Razer stuff. Yep. So was Razer supporting OSVR? No, no, I, wasn't really, the, I wasn't really paying attention when I when It's I a Razer that. product. Razer launched uh, <coughs> Razer Forge TV, the Nabu X, OSVR, they did a couple things. I was just super confused because it wasn't black and green. Yeah, it's like it gold black or something? Black and orange or something. Let me bring up the, um, the link here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks super slick, it but doesn't like, really look like it. Yeah, is like... It doesn't really look like a Razer product. I honestly have no idea what Razer's trying to do with this. Like, what... Basically, I mean, the article that I read was from Engadget. And the guy tried it, and it's got like really low-end specs as far as VR HMDs go. Um, and so basically what they're doing is they're saying, we're gonna put out this uh, headset with pretty crappy specs. I mean, I, I mean I, okay, I obviously, I've only tried the Oculus, so I, I can't really tell, I mean, I can't really speak from a, position where I have like, oh, I'm the expert on VR headsets. But from what I could tell, it's basically a base model. It's like a framework for other people to come in and make it better. So it's, a re you know, it's an open source VR headset. So they're going to like how much is it? put out the, I don't know how much the hacker dev kit is actually. Because if it's cheap enough, it might be a better way than buying an Oculus <laughs> just to develop on. I, it's gotta I, be cheaper than well, it's, it's one ninety nine ninety nine US. Yeah. Okay, so it's two hundred US coming shipping in June. I mean, I'll be I'll be completely honest. I am one of the last people who are who's gonna be excited about virtual virtual reality. Why? Because well, we get motion sick pretty easily on this. Stuff. Yeah, I, oh, I did get, you? I get yeah. motion sick, but oh, like, okay. just I don't see why we need goggles on our face to see stuff. Virtual strip clubs. Okay, well, if you get motion sick, yeah, okay, I can understand. But, like, I, I spent... I, I might get a lot of flack from the chat for, for saying that. You probably that, will. But, like, um, but I, I... I could care less about VR. I spent a lot of time with the Oculus I when I was doing did. the yeah. video, and I, I had a great time with it. I mean, like, the head tracking kind of... Uh, we have the DK2, and the camera kind of freaked out sometimes. <laughs> So when you were, you know, looking around or like you went beyond the zone of where the thing could actually see you, it, it got a little choppy, but like playing a, um, I've always liked flying games like uh, World War II plane games or really? Starfighter simulators or whatever. I, uh -huh. I love those games. So <clears throat> somebody had actually made a demo on the, ver on the Oculus um, 
I forget what it's called, but they have their site where they post demos and stuff. And somebody had made a Star Wars X-Wing mm, yeah, you were fighter excited simulator. And so I'm like in the X-Wing looking around like, oh man, there's a bag over there. And it was just like, so I'm so excited for Eve Valkyrie. <coughs> when that comes out, I'm gonna play the balls out of that. <laughs> play the balls out. Yeah. So, also, shout out to people from the Netherlands right now, Sweden, Belgium, and also Toronto. I've been trying to keep up with the chat. Oh, it's okay. Really impossible. Yeah. Well, shout out to you guys. <laughs> we have a lot of people watching from all over the world. Yeah. Sometimes Sweden, it's really cool. Belgium, Greece. Hello, Greece. Greece. Um, but yeah, in terms of the Razer's OSVR. Yeah. So I, I honestly I don't really know what their what their what their end game is. I mean I they're I feel like they try to come out with these like revolutionary products and then you know like what happened to Project Christine right Yeah, that was like when we saw it it was like whoa what is that and then turns out that no one really wanted to support it. Yeah, you know props to Razer for coming out with these ideas for and sure. like oh we're gonna come out there and like you know VR is a big thing so we're gonna make an open source VR headset and then everyone can like contribute to it but I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen. We have left it. That's a wait and see kind of thing. But apparently, you can use this without glasses. <coughs> like for people who have really bad vision, apparently oh, yeah. there are knobs on the bottom to focus the uh, lenses to actually make things better for people who need glasses. So yeah, there were some. That's that's a nice improvement. In the uh, to adjust the lenses in, on 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 the uh, DK2, you have to like roll knobs to like go back and forth on each side. But on this one, there were like these little sticks dropping down from the bottom that you could just kind of like move around very intuitively. So that looked kind of looked cool, but at the same time. I Anthony, think can you go turn that off? Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, the studio's super cold today. We ate turn on the heat. That noise you hear in the background is our heater. Yeah. Also, I think you have an eyelash in your glasses. Do I? Yes, right lens. I do. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome. <laughs> um, <coughs> I have long, girly eyelashes. People tell me that. I think I think Anthony might have girlier eyelashes than you. Girls always say they're jealous of my eyelashes. Oh yeah, you got long ones too. Come, and my come, sexy womanly figure. Mmm. <laughs> come in. This, it's mostly the eyelashes. Come in, say hi. Hi. You get. You're not on. Are, is he on screen? I can't. I'm see on it. screen. Okay, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That was too close. We're talking about girly eyelashes and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. Excellent. What's the, um, what else are we going to talk about? This is something I'm really excited about, is the display technology. So Asus and Acer, I don't know, maybe <laughs> other people did as well, but Asus and Acer both came out with high refresh rate, IPS, uh, 1440p, Displays that support G Sync and FreeSync. <laughs> is that an ad for NCIX? Yeah, there's an ad on the oh, page. That's, that's hilarious. <laughs> we didn't mean to do that. That's not intentional. Um, <coughs> but yeah, because so because it, it was a big thing. If you were looking for a monitor uh, in the past, mm -hmm. you'd have to choose between a high refresh rate or, or IPS. Or IPS. Not both. Yeah, you could get a high resolution IPS, uh, but it would pre be like max 60 hertz. Yeah. <clears throat> and now they've come out with, um, so Asus is, is a 27 inch, 120 hertz, 40p IPS, uh, dis 27, uh, I already said 27 inch display, display that may also support FreeSync in the future. I, I, I didn't actually look into whether it um, does or not, but regardless, this is like crazy that, that they actually now have high refresh rate IPS displays. And then Acer's is a 27 inch 144 hertz 1440p IPS display that does support G-Sync for sure. So like, mind blown. I mean, obviously they're gonna be expensive. Another thing that kind of flew under the radar in terms of, <laughs> in terms of LCD technology was Quantum Dot. Did you hear about that? I did, yeah, I didn't really report on it. I thought it but, was it was uh, a pretty neat concept, and apparently we're gonna start seeing a lot more quantum dot TVs and LCDs and stuff pretty soon. They're I saying mean, that it's the more um, affordable, more affordable, and it's more uh, the colors are supposed to be a lot better in terms of real life, uh, real life quality cool yeah. and gadget. Because the way the way. 
traditional LCDs are lit right now, they're they're like red, blue, and green no nope, colors. This is, this is not. And happening. they're like being filtered so that they have this filter on them that not, not necessarily <coughs> dulls the color, but like it, <coughs> it doesn't make it as lifelike as it can. Yeah. This is this is all, all uh, from mem uh, memory. I I'm not too sure if I'm completely right, but with quantum dot, what you see is what you get. So pure images are going to be look, like look a lot nicer and blacks are going to be really black because they're not mushing a bunch of colors together they're actually turning the dots off right so it's a a, a lot deeper black kind of like um super amoled displays from samsung mm. on their cell phones so wait i so I, I never got into this is it like a high end technology or is it more like the plasma tv thing I think it's somewhere in between. <coughs> I think somewhere in between, yeah. In between. Yeah. It's not really quite high end, it's not really plasma, but mm. like I don't know. I didn't this is all coming from memory, so I didn't read too much. Cuz let me tell you, I've been it. looking for a TV recently and they are expensive. <coughs> like come on, you're looking in the wrong places. Why? Well, no, I want like a good TV. I'm just, I'm like, oh man, you know, it's 2015, so I want a 1080p, you know, like hopefully 60 hertz or more, uh, you know, good size. And they're all like, well, what size would you? Would you I know, but I'm not. I'm, I was looking for like, oh, you know, they'll be like 300, 400 bucks or something. But oh, they're come all like, on. you might. Well, I, 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 I've never stopped for a TV before. I just moved out uh, of my parents' house, like a year ago. No, uh, more than a year ago. Yeah, year year and a half, and so I've never had to look for a TVs before. What? I, I'm I'm kind of disappointed <clears throat> you didn't come talk to me. You know, I just bought a new TV. Yeah, how much was it? Yeah, under six hundred bucks. That's too much. What? No. Nope. It was a forty-eight inch, one hundred twenty hertz, ten eighty p Sony TV. It find me great colors. Find me, find me a TV with all of those features for half the price. Listen, and I'll buy you, it. Listen, you get what you paid for. I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah. Like, I can try and sell you on a $4,000 a four TV, but in the end, you're the one staring at it, not me. So, right. I you can, sound like a salesman right now. <laughs> you did work in the retail store. Yes, I did. <laughs> but that's what I always told people. Like, I'm not the one staring at the TV. You are. Just go and see what you like. Obviously, it's going to come with a price tag. Find me a TV with those features that you got in your $600 TV and more features. For half the price. Look, I'm gonna have to find one off the back of a truck in Ex that case. Do it, and I'll buy it from you. This guy has always been Mr. Goody Two Shoes when it comes to buying stuff legally, and now that he's looking for a cheap TV, he's asking me to find one off the back of the I'm truck. I'm asking you to buy one. Have at it, Twitch chat. Buy, have at it. I'm asking you to buy one legitimately, and then I'll buy it off of you. It's called business. Maybe you've heard of it. <coughs> Raise your dongers, please, says, can you guys please explain why RAM is so expensive? I understand that it has to be fast and stuff, but seriously, I can't comprehend it. Honestly, I think they still haven't recovered from uh, that RAM memory factory fire thing. I think they have. I think they're just, you know, I think they're just RAM being, selling at this price, so we might as well just keep it I think they're just price. being total dicks about it just because they can. GG keys. Why are people saying GG keys? Good game. Because you won't buy stuff. Does that mean I said something good or that you... Usually bad. Oh, it's bad? <coughs> uh oh. Um, yeah, RAM has been like... It's, uh, it's still pretty... It's, it's, it's up there, I guess. But you know what's being cheap? You know what's getting way cheaper is... Um, SSDs. Yeah. They're getting so cheap! We, we are going to be uploading this stream later on to our YouTube channel. So if you missed anything, it will be up there. I know some people have to go. It might be like 2 a.m. somewhere else. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We are still going to be streaming for, <coughs> for a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, SSDs. They're down to like, what, 33 cents a gigabyte? 36? Yeah, something. Like I saw I a... Need one. Uh, you should buy one. I, I, ran out of, <coughs> I ran out of space on my gaming SSD. I'm, I'm almost filled up on my uh, 500 gigabyte SSD. You just caught that! I have a lot of games. I install them and then I don't uninstall them because I have a 500 gigabyte SSD. <coughs> you know guys, we all know what he puts on his 500 gig SSD. I need really fast porn. He needs really fast I porn. Cat porn videos. videos. A lot in it. It's, not, it's not anywhere near my 16 terabytes. Again, not all porn guys, but still. <coughs> 
Let's raise keys. <coughs> let's raise keys, donger. It sounds um, sexual. Sounds sexual. Mm -hmm. We have to find it first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Somebody asked if I care about the brand on the TV, and what I would reply to that with, I don't know really anything about TVs because I've never had to shop for them, and I haven't done any videos on them, so I don't really Just know. Just stay away from things at Target and Walmart that are priced under three hundred dollars. Yeah, don't buy stuff like High Sense or or Vizio, even I'll RCA. I, I mean, I've RCA. said it before. I'll say it again. <laughs> Find me. A 70 inch TV at Where 4K. Are you put it? I've been at, your apartment. At 4K with 180 hertz for $300. I'll buy it. Does anybody know what doscientos means? Doscientos to something. Spanish. Fessory 7 <laughs> wants us to say doscientos. Raffle, <laughs> Raffle with waffles says go for a Chinese off brand. No, no, those are the worst kinds of TVs. Okay, did you? <laughs> that's enough about TVs. So By said, the way, you... the title is still QR code giveaway winners. Oh, oh yeah, we didn't change that. We didn't change that. <laughs> We're sorry. <coughs> what do you think the recently announced Acer and Asus monitors will cost? We have an no arm idea. and a leg, honestly. Well, yeah, they're gonna be expensive. IPS uh, over a thousand bucks for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. IPS twenty-seven inch, one hundred forty-four hertz, an arm, and a leg. Get it up, get it up there. A leg. There you go. <laughs> that was like a f more like a foot. But yeah, they're gonna be expensive, guys. I mean, prepare, prepare your, prepare your prepare anuses, <clears throat> wallets, etc. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, because you got 4K monitors and stuff, all this coming out, and you don't need, do you need 4K? What you do need is high resolution, high refresh rate IPS. Honestly, when I, when I was shopping for my TV, I was considering a 4K TV because they were down in price a lot. Like, I think a 55 inch was around 1500 bucks, yeah. mm -hmm. which isn't bad, and it was a Sony. And uh, I didn't get it because, a, it, it it's it's 4K, and because there's no content available that I could use to watch it on. I mean, yay, you know, I have 4K TV, <coughs> but I fight if I can't watch anything on it at 4K resolutions, then there's no point. And I think it was only like 60 hertz or something. I'm more excited Less than about 60 old, hertz. Old LED. I want ultra black blacks. I want that nice smooth high refresh rate. 960. 960. That was uh, mm. another one of the things we were gonna, I'm sorry guys, we're still sick. <clears throat> um, another one of the things we wanted to talk about is the uh, fact that NVIDIA very quietly launched <clears throat> the 965M in gaming notebooks. Yes. It was like all this stuff, all these like, a lot of stuff coming out of WCCF tech. I don't know if you guys pay attention to that at all, but uh, they are, they're kind of sketchy, but there are all these rumors uh, about um, the GTX 960 and 965, and like, oh, they're coming out, oh, it's gonna be January. Um, but yeah, they just launched the 965M, they just put them in these laptops, and no one, no one had any idea they were coming, and yeah. it's like, bam, here's a laptop. But the desktop GTX 960 is coming at some point, we know that. It's actually coming in about two weeks or so. I finished the noodles. <laughs> JJ's 50. I finished. It, it I'm may or may sorry. Not come within... Just let's be careful. Let's be careful. The 960. I mean, we know it, it should be very apparent that that's coming at some point. But it, uh, all the rumors. Sometime 2015. All, pff, all the rumors have pointed to January. I, they originally, originally it was supposed to. Uh, or the rumors I said. It. No, I doubt it. Pff, the rumors, I doubt it. The rumors said it was going to launch at CES. I but then, doubt it. Okay, calm yourself. I, I doubt it's going to launch at CES in the past. Um, but yeah, it's coming soon. Uh, Raise your dongers, please, asks Jack, how old are you now? Congrats, by the way. Uh, I'm assuming <coughs> that's for the birthday wishes. Thank you. And mm -hmm. I'm super old. How old are you? A lot older than Keys. You're not. I am. You're not that much older. You're three years older than me. That's 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 a lifetime. Oh, I'm years. such an old man. Oh. I don't bounce back the way I used to. He's 29 and I'm 26. Mm -hmm. 
So we're adults. Getting up there. Okay, we're adults. Well, technically, Get over it. I'm not really responsible as an adult. I mean, for Christ's sake, I, I bought a Lego. Well, my buddy bought me a Lego set for my birthday, and I spent my Sunday building an entire Lego set. I, I, I tweeted about it. You're 29 years old. And the box said, ages 9 to 14. Even if you add those two numbers together, you still don't get 29. So. <laughs> Somebody said in the chat, Keys, how many inches do you want it to be? And I don't know whether you're referring to... <laughs> Something you said, like, oh, the TV. TV. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, dirty man. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> pretty, pretty good size. Look, I've been to your apartment, and I can honestly say I think a 40 to 48 inch would be a perfect size. 90 inch, 280 hertz. That's it. I have something in my teeth. Ooh, oh, snap. no. Anyways, we should probably talk about something else. IDX Eero High 5 Jack. Oh, okay, this is actually, okay, this is interesting. The Cooler Master, did you see those? The, the new coolers? The spinny yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so this is actually a design that, this was before, uh, it came out before I was even into PCs at all. But there was a design back in 2011 called the Sandia Cooler <coughs> by a company called Sandia Technologies. And instead of a... Of a, of a heat sink and a fan blowing onto the heat sink for the CPU cooler, they have a kind of a radial heat sink and it spins around. So this was kind of, this made uh, big news a couple days ago, where it's a CPU cooler with no fan, but a spinning heat sink, and then outside of that, let's just pull it up. Can we pull it up here? You, uh, did you see it? Yeah. Can you talk about it? <clears throat> Yeah, the spinning and the radiator. I don't know. I don't know how effective it could be. I mean, that's a lot more moving parts than there should be, I feel. Even though a regular heat sink has one moving it's part. Well, it's uh, kind of, you know, it, it combines the heat sink and the fan together, right? Into this kind of propeller, impeller. Uh, heat yeah, so that's what it looks like. Can you see that? Also, someone wants me to say Go Holland. So Go Holland. Go Holland. The crazy guy, 112. Um, yeah, so you can see the, the image there. That's a spinning heat sink in the middle, and then outside it's a circular radiator. <clears throat> and apparently, this is a lot silent, or uh, more silent than a regular CPU cooler with a fan on a heat sink. So it uh, apparently should be a more efficient way of cooling and a more quieter way of cooling. Obviously, we haven't actually seen it in person or done any tests or anything, but like. And there's no, I don't think this is a, this is not a consumer product yet, but like when they actually put it out, I, I think I'm very, Anthony will definitely be interested in. One thing I'm worried about though is everyone here has put their finger into a fan at one point before. That's a good point. This yeah. looks like. This is what happens when you do that. <laughs> what happened to your finger, Jack? Oh, it's, it's. The, uh, 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 I'm trying to be funny. Um, yeah. Actually, somebody, uh, somebody reporting on it said that, like, oh yeah. You know what if you put, but at the same time, how many how many times is your computer on and you're like, oh, I forgot something in there. Let me just. More often than it should be really. What? More often than it should be. Yeah, I mean, for us doing test benches and stuff, we have the the all the internals open all the time, so yeah. it's like it's a bigger issue. But I think for the average consumer who's like Fine. sticking their thing in a case and closing it up and you don't touch it while it's on, like it should be okay. But. It is definitely more dangerous. Don't run CPU coolers around children. <laughs> or if your meat grinder is uh, on the fritz and you need to make burgers tonight, there you go. It's there for you. I thought you, were emergency. Going, I thought you were going a totally different direction when you said meat grinder. What, what, where did you think it was going? I don't know. <laughs> Thoughts. Meat. Um, yeah, so that's really exciting. And Cooper, uh, Cooper, that's right, Cooler Master also had a different uh, cooler design. Uh, I, just, I just don't know how effective a piece of metal spitting to cool things is going to be compared to a regular fan. Well, but... Because it's a propeller shape, or impeller shape, sorry. And also it's part of the heat sink. You know what that actually looks like? Just someone took the fan off a regular Intel heat sink and put it on a motor to spin. No, because have you look, seen, that, have you no, seen the, the Intel mo the yeah. in heat sink? No, that because look at the motor? radiator. It's it's horizontal. Um, I don't know. Instead of vertical fins, so it goes all the way around, and then the um, <clears throat> the heat sink in the middle is like pushing the air in all directions 
horizontally away from it instead of vertically or up and down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Impeller. Impeller. Impaler, as I like to say. <coughs> Someone wants to know what happened to steam machines. We'll, uh, we'll get to that later, or? Oh yeah, okay, we'll talk about that after the next one, because Cooler Master actually came out with another new cooler design. It's actually not, I don't I honestly, I, maybe you can uh, say something about this, but it's called the 3D Vapor Chamber Cooler. And it is, like, basically in a CPU cooler, there's a vapor chamber at the bottom, which is just a flat uh, pocket. And that then connects to the heat pipes that go into the heat sink. But this one, if you search 3D vapor chamber, it's basically like the vapor chamber just keeps going up. It's like a flat thing, and then it keeps going up into heat pipes. So apparently this helps the, the heat exchange because instead of a vapor chamber and then heat pipes, it's all one thing. So this is for people who are like really into CPU coolers and stuff, but, uh, and again, this is just a prototype. Is it there anywhere? Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah there you go, click on that. I honestly don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of neat, because that just combines heat yeah, there you pipes go. with vapor chambers. Yeah. So it's basically, I mean, like, it is sort of an intuitive thing, I guess. I don't really understand, though, what the difference well, is. Theoretically, it should be better, because then you're increasing the surface area that you're cooling Do with. you want to come on camera and say that? Not really. I like my darkness. <laughs> darkness. So yeah, you, you've got more surface area, which is always better for cooling. Yeah. And you've got more fins and more heat pipe directly touching the vapor chamber instead of just nothing. I think what I'm confused about though is the heat pipes are physically separate from the vapor chamber normally. Mm -hmm. Is that what the deal is? So normally the heat pipes are touching the vapor chamber. Yeah, but they're not like, is it a continuous cavity? Yeah, it's from like one end to the other. No, in this one. Yeah, from one end to the other. And one so what's the pipe. difference? More vapor chamber. A wop so bop a loop bop a loop bop bam boom. <clears throat> but yeah, so we should see actually some new cooling technology uh, come into the market soon. Another thing that that was sort of like a cool a new cooling technology was cap therm, yeah. which we were talking to them actually. We were maybe going to do a video with them, but they create their. Mm -hmm. They use the process called C4 explosive welding. Yeah, yeah they, basically they, there's a huge explosion to weld these particular parts together. Yeah. And it's the only w method in the world you can get those two materials to fuse together is by blowing them up. Yeah, they literally take some metals out to like a field and like blow them up with C4 and that fuses them together. Which is awesome. And then they, it is pretty awesome. <laughs> and then they use that in their, their coolers. So, I don't know, we, we were talking with them, we, we were actually gonna maybe go out to their factory and like yeah. film the C4 it's blowing BC. up. Yeah, it's so let BC. us know if you want us to do that. Um, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. But um, <coughs> he should have bought a TV on Boxing Day. You're right about that. Um, <coughs> but yeah, so we should actually see some new coolers coming out, new cooler designs, because like, Every company will bring out a new cooler and it kind of like slightly iterates on the previous one, but this is actually like new cooler designs, which is kind of exciting. Yeah, uh, someone that says that C4 Fusion sounds expensive. It is. <laughs> and uh, the way they- have to they, buy C4. I think, I think the <coughs> cap therm heat sinks that, they're, that we're trying to get in touch with to sell, they will be pricey, but for the results of the cooling, I think it might be worth it. I thought it was super interesting. Mm -hmm. Also, someone was asking what I'm drinking. It's a Vita lemon tea. <coughs> I'm like addicted to these things, just like NSAX Anthony is. <laughs> We're not sponsored by them though, but if anything from, anybody from Vita is watching, send us some lemon teas, <laughs> or just any flavor of your Vita drinks. Ooh! I've been having some tea. If anybody from Rockstar Energy Drinks is watching, bring me some Rockstar Punched. Or if anyone from BMW, I love I'm in the market for a new car. <laughs> Let's just keep chilling. <laughs> or anybody from... What else do we want? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, also, no, coughing fit. Could you say Asraf <coughs> Belhaji is awesome? I don't, Kill me. I don't, is that a name? Asraf <laughs> Belhaji is awesome? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, one last thing, or well, I was gonna maybe talk about the Tegra X1, but Someone says, come to the NCIX Anthony side. Cause, what does that mean? Because it's the dark side. Oh, the dark side. <laughs> Notice me, Jack Senpai. Notice him or her. Is that, uh, 
Who is that? Can't read your neon name. A A Corch nineteen. <clears throat> a Corch nineteen. Hello. He didn't even notice you. I noticed you. I'm <laughs> a lot of a lot of people have been asking to notice them in, in chat. Like I did it in like uh, I, don't, I don't know. A lot of people just you know a lot of people just ask me to notice them, just all, all the time, and you know I can't I don't have the time, so. I am the Batman. That's you. I was I was doing an impression of Jack. I am the Batman. I think Jack would make a better Bane. To you, the people. I give it to you, the people. Spot on. <laughs> DNC master, just get a Tesla, guys. <coughs> Teslas, oh, are, Teslas are super nice, except. Actually, Tesla, if you're watching, <laughs> send us a anything. Any series. Uh, Tesla Roadster, maybe the one with the upgraded uh, mileage package that goes from LA to San Fran. We're not desperate, but we'll take anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's be clear. We're not desperate. Anthony's desperate. He'll take anything. Right. We are selective in our sponsors. Jack said, uh, somebody said they, they tweeted you. Oh, let's, uh, speaking of tweets, let's uh, check Twitter. <coughs> what the heck is this guy talking about? Somebody, somebody tweeted me and said, "Oh my God, Billy Ray Cyrus followed me, guys." Abir Naresh says, "This is pretty personal info, and sharing such info with a stranger is just wrong. But for the sake of humanity, tell me your salary." Uh, no. <laughs> I think you explained why I shouldn't tell you that in the very tweet. Let's just say we're not millionaires. <coughs> And we work here, and we make a paycheck, and it pays the bills, and our living arrangements. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's right. And also my watch obsession. Yeah, we have all the yeah here. basically your salary <coughs> pays for your action figures and watches. I can't help it. Like I literally, <laughs> I can't if, help if it. I see the Hulk on something, I'm gonna buy it. Case in point, we were at, <laughs> and we, uh, we, I was with uh, Julia and Anthony on our lunch break. I was going there to pick up Guardians of the Galaxy on Blu-ray, because I refused to watch that movie on from download. Just you gotta have it on Blu-rays. Anyways, we walked past, and Julia was joking. It's like, oh, hey, look, Jack, it's a Hulk. Uh -huh. It was like this Disney Infinity action figure thing that you put on top of like a NF NFC like dock thing that mm. and it allows you to interact with it. Anyways, I saw it, I'm like, I'm buying it and I have no idea what Disney Infinity does. It only, cause it has the Hulk on it. But you know what? Let me go get it, I will show no, you No, uh, all right. Well, all his- Hold while, down the fort. While he's getting that, <clears throat> I wanna talk about something that actually was kinda interesting. MakerBot, which makes 3D printers, they, um, they, they started making composites with plastic and other materials, um, which, uh, so you can make plastic composites with wood and metal and stuff. Oh yeah, there it is. I gotta pee. So we'll talk about that in a second. Oh yeah, there it is if you guys are curious. He's going, he's going to the bathroom right now. So, I'm gonna tell you guys that I don't understand why he buys these things. They're kinda cool, but... Why are you buying action figures? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I used to buy action figures all the time. I love them. But not anymore. Um, MakerBot. Uh, they make 3D printing um, composites with wood and plastic and, uh, and metal and stone. So they actually have, they've actually 3D printed like a hammer where it's like you have a wood, uh, wood handle and a metal hammer head. So you can actually like use it as a real hammer, but it's kind of half plastic. So that's kind of interesting, though. Did you hear about that, Jack? Uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> make a bar, composite stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that means like we can actually start because up to this point, 3D printing has just been like trinkets. It's like all this stuff. Like, oh, I want to make a sick like Zelda thing, but it's like, what's the use of this? Not really. I'm all about function also and form. But if you can pr 3D print things that are actually useful, like a hammer or like other tools, that would be super awesome. They actually demoed it where they were uh, 3D printing, um, uh, 3D printing a marble bust. Like, you know, like uh, a, a, yes, statue a statue head. A and bust of what? 
a marble bust. I'm just like a, it's like a Roman person. I actually, uh, okay, I'm going to look up the link, but, um, yeah, so it's like a composite of plastic and stone and wood and stuff. <clears throat> just a sec. 3D printer. Oh, what is it? MakerBot wood. <laughs> MakerBot wood! There it is. Can you see that? I'm gonna zoom in on it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There, see that? It's a marble bust and a, uh, those things are also wood and metal that they 3D printed. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> what is that? Is that like a Greek goddess? <laughs> Roman goddess? Yeah, something like that. <coughs> <coughs> so it's exciting. But anyways, yeah, realistic. Do a Linus impression. I'm Linus. <laughs> Wait, I got, I got, I can't I got, do I, an I got it, I got it, I got it. <gasps> hey, that's pretty good. <gasps> if you guys don't get that joke, then <clears throat> you guys haven't been subscribed long enough. <laughs> oh, somebody said Tegra X1. Okay, yeah. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Are you guys excited about the Tegra X1? Say something in the in the chat if you're excited about it, because I don't know. It's it seems like Nvidia is really heading in a direction where they're like completely merging, well they already have, merged their desktop and their mobile stuff. Yeah. Because up to this point we have like phones and tablets and stuff and they have, you know, a mobile processor that somebody had to make, like, you know, Qualcomm's making mobile processors, like, but Intel's been doing it for so long and they completely missed the mobile thing. I mean, now, they're trying now. They're trying now, but like when you see something that's like, oh, it's got an Intel Atom something something. Like that, to, to my, my first, my first uh, reaction when I hear that something has a, oh, it's got an Intel processor, it's an Atom whatever, I'm like, eh. You know? But it, like when you hear like, oh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 810, it's like, whoa, Snapdragon. Even though it's like, those are probably similar in power. Yeah. But what's really cool is that NVIDIA <coughs> desktop GPU uh, architecture, Maxwell, and putting it into mobile. So there's literally the exact same architecture and the exact same um, uh, type of processor. It's just a smaller one. So it's a mobile processor. Uh, actually I actually have some details about it. It can do 4K at 60 hertz and it's the first, like 4K at 60 hertz. Like imagine a tablet. <laughs> Would you need that? I don't know, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. And it, it's the first mobile processor to do one teraflop of processing power. That's crazy. One teraflop? Yeah. I don't even know, you know, I'll be honest, I don't even know what a teraflop is. I don't even know what a flop is. I <laughs> Oper it's something about operations per, is it? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. What's a flop? Oh. Gigaflop, teraflop. Somebody teraflop. in the chat, if you know what a teraflop is, the actual definition of a teraflop, let us know. Someone wants me to say semonodal. <coughs> Se semonodal? I don't know what it is, but it looks like a recipe for meatballs. Somebody says, when, when, we sh when should we have a new Tegra X1 tablet? And the answer to that is probably... Right now. In a, what, right now? Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, they just released, like, the Shield tablet came out earlier this year, and the Nexus 9 just released a couple months ago. So it'll probably be a while before we actually get an X1 tablet, but NVIDIA might put out, like, a <laughs> reference one, because then you know they what, do the... You know what I'm really hoping for? That their next uh, Shield portable has the new Tegra chip. Oh, yeah. That'd be sick. I'd say it, they kind of have to do that, don't they? I'm just saying. They probably will. Hopefully. Yeah. <coughs> We're pretty big fans of the Shield tablet and oh, controller. Oh, the Shield tablet's so great. I just bought one, this boxing. Anthony bought one because we had one in the studio that we were using for random stuff if we needed a tablet. And it's like, and I've been using it. Like, for review, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's like, okay, it's a tablet. It's pretty good. But then actually we, we, we compared it to the Nexus 9. Yeah, yeah compared we wrote to the Nexus that 9 to the yes. Oxy Tab S. <laughs> basically all the newest like you know what I think from now on products. every tablet review we should do we compare it to the Nvidia shield that was a line in the script that uh, Linus completely skipped over what that from now on whenever we, we do a tablet review we are gonna compare it to the tablet shield as the yeah. office favorite the tablet shield also raffle raffle with waffles <coughs> to know about steam machines is, do you think it's about time we oh there we go floating point operations floating point that's what operation? teraflop means. operations per second there you go Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Thank I, you for the 15 people who, who wikied that and 
pasted it. And to the two people who actually knew that off by heart. Because we were too lazy to actually just look it up right there. <laughs> yes. We're doing really important things. Like, also, I just noticed we're both wearing <coughs> hats backwards. Yeah, I actually came in. Well, because I always wear this hat. You never wear hats. Well, I wore a hat because I, I wanted it. It's purple. I like purple. Yeah, you're wearing purple and blue, Jack. Yeah, I wore blue today because I knew we weren't going to be on the, the Netlink set. They give me a lot of guff for wearing blue on set <laughs> because it matches the background. Well, because sometimes we do like a blue screen. <coughs> sometimes we do a blue screen effect. And if you're wearing a blue shirt, it completely changes the color of your shirt or gets rid of it. If you're like, you wore a purple shirt before and we do and like a blue screen effect and it's just like, a, now it's a red shirt. <clears throat> but yeah, what's with that? Why'd you decide to wear a hat today? Oh, I didn't do my hair. You never do your hair. I, I did my hair yesterday when I went out. When you went out, you didn't do it when you were at work. You, you didn't. I've, ha- I've been, look, I've been sick. <laughs> <coughs> I wear a hat every day because my hair is ridiculous. It's all over the place. DNC Master says his crosshair is purple in B- Battlefield 4 community test environment. That's awesome. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, oh, his is. I thought he meant yours is. So I'm like, how does he know what color your crosshair is? Have you guys done a Luke impression before? I haven't spent enough time with Luke to really know what his Luke is really like. Is. Luke just like seems like a. He's cool, but like collected. He's like so the exact opposite. Of kind of has like a deep voice. And uh, he kind of sounds like Walter Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I benchmarked these video cards. Is this, is this a problem? I don't know. No, I think uh, no. Shockwave Flash. Crashed. Should be fine. <coughs> All right, next topic. <coughs> yeah, is the stream still going? Actually, yeah, the stream's still going. And shockwave crashed. What about the printer that prints circuits and the complete gadget? It's nine thousand dollars. Mine isn't no loading. Idea. I think that could it be a new Shield tablet? Is it an ad right now? Come. Yeah. PS4 and P- Xbox One. Yeah, actually, I, I think. A new Shield tablet or any tablet now coming out soon would definitely put the consoles in its place because of game streaming from NVIDIA and every I'm other... trying to focus the camera. Oh. Continue. Also, speaking of focus and camera quality, I really... <laughs> no! Not that. No! Speaking of camera quality and autofocusing, I really do apologize for that potato video I put up for the upload to lead you guys to, to this video. It was horrible. It, this yeah. is what I'm working with. It's a it's like broken a, Ultrabook. Yeah, it's like not even close. It's like someone lost all the screws <coughs> to it and decided to take the SSD out of it. Yeah. So I had to scrounge for a new SSD. Scrounge. Scavenge. Mmm. Mm. Do you guys have any communication with Jay's two cents? <clears throat> no, we don't. Um, well, I haven't. Have you talked to him at all? Uh, he seems like a really nice guy. We just yeah. haven't, uh, haven't got around to working with him yet. We Where didn't go to CES. This? We didn't go to PAX Prime. So we haven't had the opportunity I, I, to really well, hang out. I, 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 we, went to we went to PAX. PAX, oh, PAX, yeah, you PAX, guys, PAX, PAX, PAX. Everybody! Yeah, okay, you guys fun. went as, like, not YouTubers. You just yeah. went as people. Um, on, our own, on our own dime. But, um, yeah, we're hoping to, because we've gone through a lot of changes on our channel over the past year, so <clears throat> they haven't... Um, the higher-ups didn't see fit to send us to those things, but uh, hopefully in the future we'll be able to go to shows and uh, conventions and stuff like that and hopefully be able to talk to other people. Obviously, we know Linus very well because we film with him every week, but, um, and obviously this is, he's, he's around here. But, uh, yeah, we want to we collaborate with other YouTubers and stuff, so. Give us some suggestions if you guys have like favorite channels or something, because we'll that would be cool. Probably even do makeup collabs, you know. Makeup? We'll do anything. Why would you say? Like with makeup YouTubers? Yeah. Yeah, if you want us to like, you know, what our daily routine is or anything, just, you know, just just let us know. I don't know what that was. That was just kind of like. Mm. That's how you get subs. Yeah, that's exactly. That video was painful. What video? Oh, your potato video. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, I apologize. <coughs> PewDiePie, yeah, we'll do a collab with PewDiePie. <laughs> I don't think that's likely. Although maybe, maybe we could like play online with him or something. My PewDiePie! Don't even. <laughs> don't even what? <laughs> do a PewDiePie impression? Danish dessert. Austin Evans. Austin Evans seems like a really cool guy. Hey guys. <laughs> MKBHD, we actually, uh, we bumped, I bumped it, well, Last year at CES, I saw him on the show floor. Wheels and keys were too chicken to go up and say hi. And I was like, but he's, 
MKBHD. So I ran up to him yeah. and I'm like, hey, uh, Marquez, big fan. Uh, would you mind doing an intro for our new show? Yeah. He's like, yeah, sure. And he, I, well, technically the conversation was like, hi, Marquez, <laughs> big fan. <laughs> He's super tall in real yeah, life. He's really, I, yeah. It, it, I don't think the it comes across in his videos how tall he actually is. And I, I was, uh, I follow him on Twitter, and I saw the video he posted when he's playing ultimate frisbee, and he just comes out of nowhere, just rejects this one. I don't even know scoring chance touchdown. <laughs> in I don't, ultimate frisbee. Well, it, it's kind of like a f football field. Three pointer. <laughs> Slam dunk. Free throw. Home run. Anyways, he comes out of nowhere and just the wingspan on this guy and just knocks the frisbee down. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was going to try and catch it, but he knocked it down with such force. It just looked awesome. Yeah. So then he did the intro for Netling Daily <coughs> and we it were like, like, oh my God. What you think? It was like one of the last Netling Dailies we did last year at CES, either on the Thursday or Friday. So you guys check that out if you want to see him on NCIX. Oh, someone's saying we should do a collab with Newegg. Probably not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Just say. I mean, I've met the I've met the guys from Newegg. They were super nice, but I mean, I don't know if that'd be allowed. Kind of competing. Yeah, we're kind of competing with them, but I mean, we're technically we're competing with all the other YouTubers as well. But <clears throat> the Ginger Ninja Anyways. asks, "What do you all think about gaming on Windows tablets?" Um, yeah, I would try. It. You kind of gamed on the Surface Pro Three. Yeah, actually, I ran uh, Borderlands Two on it. Um, so, and it, and it ran, it wasn't any sort of impressive, but like, I think because I was doing the Surface Pro review and, or Surface Pro 3, and I was like, it's a, it's pretty, it's like good at everything else, I might as well just see if it can run some games, and I ran Borderlands 2 on it, and it actually ran, so. If you, if you are, need a quick, if you're like super addicted to gaming and you need a fix, <clears throat> and you're like in the middle of nowhere. I mean, if it's just a tablet and not... Not like a actual, like keyboard and mouse dock too. It's kind of hard. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyways. Oh, Raffle with waffles really wants us to talk about steam machines. Okay, we will. But I just need to address <coughs> this. This guy's like, do you guys hate Newegg? Is there a big rival? We we don't hate the Newegg no. guys at all. <coughs> I They're mean, really nice people. They they are. <coughs> uh, I remember we we bumped into Paul at the Asus yeah. suite last yep. year. We, we bumped CS. into Paul and we met Kyle. Yeah. Oh, they're not technically they're contractors for Newegg now. Yeah, but, but like when when this is when they were still working for Newegg. Yeah. And we bumped into Paul and Paul comes up to Keys and he's like, oh hey, you're uh you're you're NCIX Keys. Yeah. And I was like, like oh nice my gosh, it's Paul. Like, oh Paul from Paul's Hardware. Yeah. Man. yeah. 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 They're super nice guys. Yeah. Shout out to Paul and Kyle. Yeah, we know. It's just that you know we were friends, yeah, X, and they work for New Egg, and it's like Romeo and Juliet. It can never be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> we're totally Romeo. We like each other, but we're from. It's just where we're from, guys. When will <coughs> we start putting desktop GPUs in laptops? I mean, if and if Origin PC is doing or in, trying to innovate by putting yeah. desktop CPUs into laptops. I mean, it's only a matter of time before we try and stuff an actual G desktop GPU into a laptop. I mean, cooling would be a hmm. bitch to handle. Yeah. Trying to have that stay cool, but... Well, I mean, basically, because <clears throat> it's, it's the chip, right? Like, the GPU is the chip. The, the, on a desktop, you have a big, huge cooler around it and stuff, but, like, what they're actually doing is the chip, and it's just only smaller because it has to be in a laptop, so they're, like, making a custom enclosure for it. And it, obviously they can't have the exact same cooling performance on it because they don't have as much room, but... I mean... Odds are it will throttle. It's, it's the giveaway brick throttled. Right. Risent96 says, you effing hate them, don't lie. We don't! We don't! We, we, barely, don't. Know them. we barely know them. A plague of both. Go <laughs> subscribe to them. There, there you go. Go subscribe to them right now. Go to Tech Tips. Go to YouTube and search Linus LOL Tips. Linus LOL Tips? I'm I'm scared. What is that? As well, he finds out. What's, <coughs> what's the next link you want? Oh, well, it's just random. Oh, like you've Put uploaded ridiculous nice. clips. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, is that an hour-long video? <coughs> wow, nice job, man. <laughs> nice. Anyways, um, steam machines. Oh, steam machines. Right. So, raffle right. with waffle. This is your. Uh, this is for you. Um, Steam Machines, okay, yeah, so this is actually another, I didn't put this in the doc to talk about, but this is kind of a, because Steam Machines were a huge topic last year. Especially when they started sending out actual, like... Well, not last year, the, oh, <coughs> I guess it's 2015, yeah, last yeah. year. When they sent, started sending out actual 
beta steam machines to people and people yeah. were taking them, tearing them apart and see what kind of hardware they got. Yeah. It was that a, was super interesting. It was a huge topic and anytime we put steam up on a, on a video or something, it was like, oh, so much hype about steam. Yeah, and those videos would just be like that in terms of like views. Yeah, and the steam controller, mm -hmm. honestly, when it came out, I was like, oh, that actually kind of looks interesting, like with the two trackpads instead of joysticks. I mean, like, it was supposed to give you the same, um, what do you call it? Pre precision that you get with a mouse. You know, the big thing about controllers versus, my, versus mice is that, you know, it's not nearly as precise. And the Steam controller was supposed to give you that precision that you get with a mouse, but in a controller. But now, apparently, they've changed the design of the controller. Um, it got leaked, like, actually you found that, or no, you read it on the internet and then you went and find that, found the actual file in the Steam files. In the library, yeah. In of Windows. The picture controller. There was a picture of <coughs> controller mock-up and it had like a D-pad on the left side and a trackpad on the right or a joystick. I don't know, it didn't really, it was just a mock-up and then buttons in a, down below. So they completely changed the design of it. The overall shape of it is pretty much the same, but they've changed the, because originally it had a trackpad on yeah. there, it had a whole thing, but now it's it looks more like a traditional controller. And they're going to, apparently, according to, I think the Origin PC CEO, uh, who's been working closely with Valve, they talked to Game of Sutra of something. What's, what you doing? Oh. <coughs> okay. Oh, should um, I close mine too? Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, the Origin <laughs> PC guy talked to, I think it was Game of Sutra, and said, what are you doing? Oh, it's... I'm, I'm, Jeez. And apparently they're going to reveal the Steam controller... Did you pull off oh, the adapter the again? No, the power adapter for the laptop. Yes. I'm sorry. The, the, the laptop's dying. The stream's gonna die. I'm sorry. Okay. CEO of Origin. He talked oh. to <laughs> Game of Sutra and said they're gonna reveal the Steam controller design at GDC and Valve's gonna have a bunch of game developers conference in, in March. March, March, yeah. And they're going to have a bunch of stuff to talk about there. Last year they had the Steam Dev Days conference, which was just Steam. <clears throat> and that's where they came out with, like, they had their own VR thing. And everyone said that it was, like, the best VR and it was better than Oculus at the time. That was in whatever that was, February or something last year. Yeah. Or maybe it was in March. And everyone went and they had a VR demo with a big room. And it was a Steam VR headset. And everyone said it was better than Oculus. So they're not doing uh, Steam Dev Days again this year. They're going to reveal a bunch of stuff at Games Developers Conference in March, including the Steam Controller, and we'll guess we'll see about the fate of Steam Machines. But it seems like at this point, because Alienware has come out with a console that was originally supposed to be a Steam Machine, and now it's just a living room PC. Um, I think uh, another company has as well. Was it Gigabyte? There have been a couple companies now that have, or what was it? No, I forget, I forget. But Alienware for sure did a console um, that came with like an Xbox controller instead of a Steam controller. And they're like, oh look, it's a, this was gonna be a Steam machine, but Valve kind of like dragged their feet and they they don't know what they're doing with Steam machines. So they just released it as a PC. So <coughs> it looks at this point like, it's not gonna be nearly as much of a hype scenario. It's gonna be like, you know, if you want to build a living room PC, there will be some options. And you just kind of put a PC in your living room and you can run SteamOS on it if you want, or you can run Windows, or you can run Linux, and uh, then you can play your stuff <coughs> in your living room that way. But now, this is kind of why Razer Forge TV is so attractive, is because it's like a $100 thing. You stick it on your TV, it makes your TV into a smart TV, and you can stream your PC games to your TV if you have a good Wi-Fi connection. So like that's actually, I mean obviously not, not, I mean it wouldn't be good for like competitive multiplayer because of latency, but pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. So that's why I said, I think I said in that link, Steam machines are dead now. Or I wrote it and you said it. Yeah. But I don't know if they're dead, but well, I guess we'll see in March. <clears throat> They're not relevant yet. I mean, when's the last time you saw any, like, you heard anyone actually talk about steam machines? Seriously, I think it was at CES last year. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what I it mean. Was we, like. we we went to the uh, the steam booth they had because they had the controller there, and then but they, that was the very very last day of CES, and people were packing up the booths already. So yeah, we we didn't get a chance to handle the Why are we actual controls. Sure. Next time wear a patterned shirt. I'll think about it. 
Should I just put my hand on it and then it's like... We have a vest you could wear. It thinks we have a pattern. A vest? Yes. Yeah. See my vest. <coughs> see my vest. Is the special guest coming in or not? Because we've been uh, going for a while now. Half so far? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. He said he was getting a haircut and he was coming in. Okay. Well... I mean... No, we gotta wrap it up. Though. I think we gotta wrap it up. Yeah. We're just... We're just droning on now. <coughs> um, yeah. Why is there no Kaveri AP using <coughs> laptops and tablets? Because AMD. <coughs> and heat. And heat. What about the Steam Boy machine? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. I don't know. That was, we never heard anything about that after... If, in, if you don't know what that is, uh, mid, sometime after the whole Steam machine hype, or during it, someone, some company teased the Steam Boy, which is like, it was like a handheld that ran Steam OS. So you could play your Steam games on a little handheld, but I, I don't know, maybe that was just a mock-up or a concept. I don't think it was ever actually a real thing. So that's what happened to that. I don't know, I, I mean, what, that was late. That was uh, early last year, so yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know. Damn, why do you guys all stream when I have to go? I'm so sorry. Where are you reading this? Right there. Oh. Yeah, any thoughts on project perception neuron versus control VR? I haven't heard of PPN. I think, well, I know definitely Control VR. That's Brandon Latch's thing from, from, Node. Uh, from Node. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Node, even though they probably won't be watching this. Probably not. No, but uh, Control VR looks really interesting. That's like the gloves with all the sensors on it, so you can have like one-to-one -one movement and uh, sensors with your hands in VR. Yeah. I really, I'm really excited for stuff like that. I think Pro Project Perception Neuron was something similar, but they had like basically the concept was that they have these modules sensor modules and then you could do like a full body or hand like you could buy like modular um, packages where it's like okay I want the full body package so then you have like things all over your arms and your legs and your head and everything and it's basically full body tracking or you could buy just the torso or you could buy just the hands or the arms or just the legs without the arms um, I, they look interesting I haven't really we haven't really heard anything about them I don't think they really had a presence at CES because it's a consumer electronic show I mean, you don't really see a lot of the like yeah. really prototype stuff there. I feel like if if they did, <coughs> Luke Luke would have covered it already from yeah. Tech Tips. He's always really excited tips. about the um, VR stuff. Focus. Focus camera. There you go. Bring it back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we need to get like a Humpa Lumpa 007 says, when are you gonna play Far Cry 4 in your LAN room? We already we did. We already did. Go look in our uh, Let's Play playlists or NCIX party or whatever. Or do you mean to play again? Called. Play again? <clears throat> we can. We'll do I it. Think, I think we'll play Battlefield before that. Yeah, we should probably play BF4 because I know it's old now, but we haven't played BF4. We used to, man, we used to tear it up on the servers. And then this guy got married. That's true. <laughs> huh? And I got banned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why'd you get banned? Anthony got banned because someone hacked his Origin PC account and tried to buy stuff with FIFA. Yeah. Why did you do that? I'm supposed to be unbanned now, but I haven't tried. Mm. I've lost faith. You probably should. Try. Will you play Minecraft in your Let's Plays? I will not play Minecraft anymore because of Edsel. <laughs> yeah, I, we played Minecraft at one point, but then Edsel kind of killed his sheep and torched his house. And killed him multiple times in the back. Mm -hmm. Wish I could play B. Oh, really? Somebody said, actually, Node has completely dropped Control VR. I didn't what? know that. Really? It's not... There's, they were just the mascot crew for it, but they've dropped it now because Node did not like how they were doing things. Really? Huh. Interesting. Well, I'll have to look Node. into that. Good on Node. <laughs> yeah, good on Node. <laughs> also, we can't switch the manual focus. We don't know how to do that with his webcam. We, we didn't install the drivers. Yeah, it's a webcam, so... <laughs> he married BF4? No. Uh, Keys was in the process of uh, planning his wedding. I married BF4, that's right. <clears throat> and uh, before that, he would have a, a somewhat free time to come and play with us on Battlefield yeah. servers. He would be our uh, chopper pilot and we would be the gunners and we would wreak havoc. It got to a point where Edsel and Ensax Anthony were on our squad. They got so good at the game, people thought we were hacking. <laughs> good times. <laughs> and people were started looking up uh, Edsel's Battlefield 4 stats and they're like, there's no way he's doing this good with this short of a, a life lifetime on Battlefield 4. Because well, Edsel's master in CSGO, which for people out there who know CSGO, that's really high. Yeah, Edsel, Edsel like gets bored 
when a game isn't challenging enough. Yeah. He'll be like, this is lame, oh, I'm leaving, I got 50 kills and two deaths, uh. and, he'll, like, and then he didn't want to play with us. I, he's probably watching right now. Edsel, you're an excellent, very skilled gamer. I Frank Quinn, hi, hi from Ireland, brothers. Oh yeah, Ireland. I saw that. Hello from Ireland, how you doing there? Can someone answer me please? Say for example, <coughs> an Intel i5-4690K. What does the 4690K mean? It's just the designation of the chip. Well, K, it means it's un unlocked. It's unlocked. You can yeah, overclock so, it. Yeah, you can overclock the, the pants off of that. <clears throat> um, I got really excited about the Ireland guy because I'm, I'm part Irish. I'm, yeah. I'm like German Irish. Yeah. In case you were wondering. <coughs> CSGO sucks. Tell that to Edsel. Tweet, tweet Edsel and tell him yeah. that. Okay. I think that's enough. Guys, thanks for watching so much. Um, we apologize that our special guest could not make it. Yeah. It was Wheels. Yeah. He said he was getting a haircut. Was that a knock on the door? Maybe Speaking of the devil. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <coughs> Asus <coughs> Zen, <coughs> Zenfone 2. I saw that. Um, the phone is super cheap. And like... Oh, oh, okay. And it's unlocked and it's not SIM locked to a carrier. It's, it's, it's great. I think I might want to check it out. Asus, if you're watching, send us a Zenfone too. Yeah, I actually didn't. I didn't really look at the uh, Zenfone <coughs> stuff very much because it's not even available in North America. So no, but the the spec. Did you hear <coughs> the specs? Uh, no. It's insane. I heard about the zoom. I was getting like we reported the on one the, with the camera. Yeah, yeah, with the optical zoom because I was like, oh my gosh! But apparently, Samsung released a smartphone with optical zoom a while ago that I didn't. I didn't hear about. So when this one came out, it was like. Because they did that teaser, Asus set up, put out that teaser that was like, see what others can't see. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> 5, 1, uh, five inch IPS display with a 72% screen to body ratio. Medium. Oh, so they have a very thin bezel. Thin bezel, but they've got the chin bar for the design. 1920 by 1080. Um, it's super thin, 3.9 millimeters at the thinnest edge. See, for me, I don't really <coughs> care about thinness of phones. Four gigs I... of RAM. You're always complaining about RAM. <coughs> Yeah, but I mean, like, three, I mean, that's just, I feel like that's overkill. Four gigs of RAM in a phone, I mean, you're getting, you can and buy laptops running, with four it's gigs It's running Lollipop with that Asus skin, <coughs> and, yeah, I mean, I it's got know. Intel Atom. Uh, Honestly, I'm you. completely just, like, it's like, uh, what do you call it, you're, you, the, the way you feel about VR, that's kind of how I feel about no flagship phones? phones these days, yeah. because they are all, it's all like, oh, it's a 1080p, five-something inch screen, uh, it's got this much RAM, this much processor, and it's like, really the only thing that's important to me in a smartphone now is the camera. If the camera's really good, I get excited about it. And that's why I got excited about the Zenfone Zoom, because it had opt op uh, optical zoom in it. Not that I'm doing a lot of zooming <coughs> with my camera, but I think that's the main thing. I mean, like, the processor, the RAM, the... If it has a micro SD, I get excited. Someone wants you to do your sick voice. And uh, Mo Greg asks if uh, we play Destiny. I play Destiny on PS4. This gentleman does not uh, play. I do not play Destiny. He does not have a console. That's a, that's a horrible impression. I used to play Xbox at my parents' house. Oh, yeah. But now I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the stream, NCIX. Me and my friend Billy watched your stream. We made popcorn. I want popcorn. Oh, that's nice. I learned lots about new technology. I like to tell my mom about technology. The phone looks really cool and cheap. I got my phone. Oh, damn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just scroll up a little bit. Um, a little bit more. Uh, the phone looks really cool and cheap. I got my phone about a week ago. It is the iPhone 69. Thank you, <laughs> Crusher Green. I don't know if, I don't know if that's... <laughs> I don't know if that's trolling or not. I got the iPhone 6 <laughs> D9. Ooh. How come only you two are sick? Did you guys kiss? Why wasn't Linus invited? Uh, he's Linus is not, he's at CS. That's why he's not sick. German high five. Vegas sick, which is a lot worse than Vancouver sick. There's an Xbox One behind you. Actually, if you watched our stream last time, this is the box oh, yeah. I, I destroyed crushed. The Xbox one. Uh, <laughs> because I said I liked playing consoles equally on PC as I do on consoles. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> me had 23 I bent my iPhone 6. That's a lie unless you tweet me pictures. I want to see. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, how are you going to take pictures if it's bent? A series of mirrors. 
Mm, series of mirrors. Uh, how's the Lenovo Y50 non 4K and non touch? Are you trying to be swaggy? No idea. Uh, <laughs> Lenovo actually surprisingly <coughs> makes some really nice convertibles and notebooks that don't I feel don't get enough attention. We gotta fix that next time. Yeah, we need to figure out the focus. Every time it goes out of focus, I'm just like, oh, it looks like I'm doing a high someone is saying German high five. I will give you a job in high five. I don't know how to say high five in I German. High five is this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. <coughs> but um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> guys. Uh, if you have any other questions, hit us up on the Twitter. This guy's been asking, what do you think about Razor's project, Christine, a lot. So let me just, I'll just say that because I feel like you've like, please, please see the this. Ginger Ninja. Um, I think it's dead. I don't think it's happening. If it is happening, uh, we'll report on it, but yeah. I don't think I think it's because they don't have it. enough uh, manufacturers backing the technology. So. This guy found me a TV, but then the link it's got deleted. Link, yeah. so I'm, it's probably, uh, probably... Tweet me. Hey, tweet me at NCIX Keys. If you find me a TV that's cheap, <laughs> tweet me. It, it was me and Billy's <laughs> lifelong dream. I will sh be sure to tell my mom about it. Tell your mom we said hi. Yeah. Keys All right. and Jack, nope. say road god mudflowed. Oh, we already said that. Last time. That's what Razor, we said. Razor, death adder, or taipan, death adder. Death adder. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, guys, I think that's good. Yeah, it's the C930E. Um, thank you so much for watching, uh, tuning in. Um, yeah. yeah. Next time we'll work on the camera for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and next time you guys will show up early and not leave me hanging by myself, setting up the studio by myself. All right. I was shopping you need cars. to calm down. I was super busy. Um, yeah, so uh, we're looking to do this on like a Tuesday maybe every week. Uh, obviously, we're not at, at a point, uh, you know, it's still pretty gong show at this point, but we want to be able to do the P2P show as it uh, may be called. It's, um, I, that's what I've been calling it. I've been yeah, hashtag, hashtag P2P. P2P show because so many people are <coughs> searching that hashtag. <laughs> it's going to be a thing, I swear. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Um, we will uh, see you next time. Yeah, if you have any questions, just hit up us up on Twitter at uh, NCX at NCX Jack. I actually have been like looking at Twitter. So before I used to just not I like made a Twitter account and then I was just like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, NCX is going up on a Tuesday. Is Got that? my hand <laughs> Jack, please say I to is for a friend. Okay. P to P, yes. Very, right. very mature Vlad. Okay. Bye. Signing Bye. off, do your sign off. I don't know, but mine. Oh, I didn't have a sign off. You came up with this stupid turtle, turtle thing last How time. How dare you? Turtle, turtle. And uh, 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 have a great. Uh, see you next time. That's the way the cookie crumbles, <laughs> etc.